Now, the House of Representatives has met with the Director General of the National Youth Service Corps over the kidnap of eight core members in Zamfara State. The meeting was geared towards planning ways to ensure the release of the core members and to put measures in place to forestall future occurrence. Plus TV, Emmanuel Ehigini's report is presented from our studios. 30 days ago, eight members of the National Youth Service Corps were kidnapped by gunmen in Zamfara while traveling from Akwaibom and ruled Sokoto State for their compulsory one-year service. As reactions trail the development, the House of Representatives is tinkering with the NYC to seek ways of rescuing them. Chairman of the committee, Martins Essin, expressed optimism that the kidnapped core members will be reunited with their families through collaborative efforts of the owls, NYC, and security agencies. We also like to know what the scheme is doing to mitigate this problem going forward. Because our oversight responsibilities is not just to tackle the presence, but we want a situation where we don't continue to talk about the same matter every time. So we'd like to also know what the scheme is putting in place going forward to see that we don't find ourselves in this um, in this kind of situation. And just hear from you what you have done, the level of empathy you have shown in touching base with the families of these uh, of these core members. And I'd like to say here that what has happened can happen to anybody. I don't think those um, People were kidnapped because they were core members. I think it's because of um, um, the situation that we find um, ourselves security-wise. So it could um, happen to anybody. I want us to be as honest as show some sense of um, empathy and reasoning and um, putting ourselves actually in the shoes of um, these people who have been in detention. For, for, for more than 30 days. Members also inquired from the NYC boss what the NYC is doing to improve the scheme. I'm aware that staff of INEC enjoy what is called hazard allowance. I don't know if this is part of what the COP members are enjoying because they are exposed into dangers, which is also part of the hazard. So I think it's important they also enjoy that benefit. I want to know if uh, there is any plan or program for core members after the one-year mandatory program. If there is any exit plan for them so that uh, after NYC COP, Core members will not just uh, uh, be left on their own. From dealing with the current issue at hand, what are the measures we are equally putting in place that a recurrent of such issue does not happen? Because if you observe, this is not the first incident. There are other incidents of this nature that has happened before now. But my DG, I would like you to be the DG that will put an end to this issue again in Nigeria. In his response, the NYSE boss said the management is doing everything in its capacity to improve the scheme. The committee, however, resolved that the NYSE management team should visit the families of the kidnapped core members to empathize with them. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.